Well, hey guys, welcome to 42 Pros and more importantly, welcome to 2019. And this will be our first video of 2019 and hopefully we'll have more to come just like this one. So uh, just to keep it short and sweet, what we're going to be doing today is using a piece of software called Main Stage 3 in order to reproduce the sounds for the keyboard from a song called Do It Again by Elevation Church. Now, if you've not heard it, I highly suggest you check it out. I'll, I'll link it up here somewhere to the original version to the uh, music video that they produced so you can get a good sound uh, or a good taste of what it sounds like. And then you can come back later and learn it if you haven't learned it already. But this patch specifically will be involved with a or dealing with a template called Sunday Keys from a website called sundaysounds.com. So if you're not familiar with sundaysounds.com, I'll definitely have that uh, link in the description because Sunday Keys is a phenomenal template for Main Stage 3. If you have not used it before, if you don't know about it, like I said, you'll have some links to check out uh, either on the screen here or in the description below because David Falscraft, the founder of Sunday Sounds, actually walks through the entire template of Sunday Keys 1.4, which is the newest version for main stage. And you'll be amazed at what you can do just from a simple little keyboard, whether it's a 49 or a 61 or a full 88 or whatever, you will be amazed. Um, and more importantly, and I'll talk about this at the end, but what Sunday Keys does for you on the back end, in the background that you don't know, is it helps you out tremendously when it comes to reproducing that sound in a live format specifically helping your sound person, your front of house guy or girl out, and they will love you for it. So, but anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the software and we'll get started with this patch and show you how it's done. All right, guys, so we're in main stage right now and the Sunday Keys template is up and it's already uh, uh, selected with the do it again patch that I have created. Now, uh, if you want further details on that, I'll have a link in the description over to uh, sundaysounds.com's YouTube channel so you can get a full uh, tutorial on how to actually get that done. All right, uh, this is not for that. Um, I'm just basically gonna show you this patch specifically for this specific song, okay? So anyways, if you have not heard the song, then I will go ahead and play it for you really quick. I'll do a brief intro uh, shortened verse one and then go into the pre-course and then I'll come back and we'll uh, explain a few other things to you. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> pardon my big fingers but there you go that's what it sounds like and if you've ever heard that the original cut of do it again from elevation church that sounds a lot like it now uh the pads and stuff that i've added might be a little different flair that you can change as well um but anyways let's go ahead and walk through what we actually have here okay obviously we got the piano If you look, you got that orange light for smash and smash basically is a compressor that helps even out the volume. So you don't have really low lows and really loud, you know, highs when you're really jamming on it and, you know, getting into a good song and getting excited. So it kind of helps balance out the, the lows and the highs and keeps it kind of in a, in a, in a middle range, you know? All right. So the cool feature to the piano, which you may want to add is the shimmer and it's connected to the reverb. So the more reverb you have, the more shimmer you have. So this is what that sounds like. 
hear that tail. So that may be all you want, <laughs> but I typically take it off simply because I do have the pads in there. So now worship pad sounds like this, really subtle, kind of soft and just barely in the background. But it has that chorus roll. All right, it does have a little bit of shimmer added to it as well. All right, and the excited one is right here in the Inspire pad. All right, and I've actually cut the mid so it's not just overpowering the other pad or being, you know, in your face kind of dominant, all right? But the kicker of all the different uh, uh, banks of instruments that you can control with Sunday Keys is this big ARPS for this song specifically, all right? And this is the big ARPS by itself. And that's the pulse. And the cool thing with the pads and the arps is if you adjust your mod wheel, it gets brighter and a little bit louder. So if you want to, you know, really take your time and building up to a chorus or something like that, or if you're building the bridge, then you can keep slowly inching your way up on the mod wheel and it'll add a little extra volume and a little bit of extra you know high end on the registry uh, end of the, the higher end registry of the of the keyboard and the sound spectrum so phenomenal temple uh temple <laughs> it's a phenomenal template and um, just to come back to what i mentioned earlier with Sunday Key's doing a lot of work for you on the back end and kind of in the in the background, so to speak. If you look right over here to your, your channel strip section on the right side, you have EQs and compressors and all this stuff to all these different channels. So your sound person, your front of house sound person, whether it's a guy, girl, whatever, will absolutely love you and appreciate this template so, so, so much because it does so much for them that they don't have to worry about when it comes to live performances because it's already built into the template, you know, controlling volumes and hot spots and all that stuff in the sound wave that, uh, you know, most uh, regular patches just within main stage will not be there unless you know how to put them in there and plug them in and get them uh, set exactly right. So like I said, Sunday Keys is phenomenal, no, all right? But the last thing, the hidden little feature that Sunday Keys has that I don't think any other template has is this tonic pad, which is right down here. Okay. And I'll turn it on. And this is what it sounds like. It's just that subtle drone pad, which you can get it. You can get it really aggressive and really loud. Okay. Or you can back it off and get really, really soft with it for transitions and whatnot, okay? And so whenever you get back in there to getting ready to play the song, you know, the pastor's done or whatever, and you really want to start to play the song, you kind of ease that in, or you can really get a little louder to, to build into a different part of the song dynamically, you know, and you just start playing. And you got that in the background. That's beautiful. You can just barely hear it. Then when you quit playing, you still have something there that you can you know, play along with, you know. Then you can turn it off and it'll fade out. 
But there you go, guys. That is it for this patch for Do It Again. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you're not familiar with Sunday Keys, definitely, definitely go check them out because it will definitely be worth the $45 or $50 or whatever it is to get into that template and purchase it. But if you get one of the, the, the levels up, you know, of, as far as the template and what you can pay and purchase up front, uh, you get a lot of cool pianos and, and some extra, uh, I think they have what's called the ultimate uh, pads or whatever, where you get some more pad sounds that you can add into it. And, and I promise you, it's phenomenal. And, and they give out a, uh, a free patch of the month once you become a member of the uh, Sunday Keys team, so to speak, and, and the family. Uh, you can sign up for some emails and get some free patches, which will tie right back into the Sunday Keys uh, template that they have developed. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, give us a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, we'll definitely be trying to do this specific thing as far as building patches on a monthly basis. Uh, but just from time constraints of what we do with work and, and video production, photography, and, and editing, and all the other stuff that I do here with 42 Pros, I, I might not be able to do it every month, but as far as video and photography work and editing, as far as video editing, definitely subscribe if you're in that world and you are a gearhead and you love doing those types of projects because I will be doing a lot of videos specifically to help you just get a little bit better or at least give you some insight on what I have learned and what I have learned not to do, <laughs> more importantly so that I can potentially help you out. And the reason why we started this channel was simply just to help out people because I get a lot of questions on a regular basis about camera this or editing that or photography this or whatever. And it's, and it's a lot of questions that I can answer pretty quick as long as we can walk through a couple of things. But I, I, I just told myself, it's, if my friends and associates and people that I uh, come in contact with have these type of questions, I'm sure other people will have these questions as well. So why not go ahead and start a new channel, get started with those videos and that content that could potentially help some folks out. And that's the goal for 2019 is just to help as many people as we possibly can in this area of being gearheads, you know, <laughs> in the video photography world, the music production stuff, you know, and the live performance things, as well as editing your software stuff. Uh, when you get all that stuff filmed and captured and photographed and all that good stuff. So, but that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, awesome. If you didn't, maybe it was a little entertaining. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, definitely get the gear that's right for you because in most cases, we only get one chance to get it right. So why not do it right and do it once? Until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next video.